<laughs> All right, guys, we are very excited because today we are going to test for the first time ever extreme removal, heavy removal of rust, wood, and paint. This is not grip tape. I repeat, it is not grip tape. So you might be thinking to yourself, wait, haven't they done this before? Well, the answer is no. We've done every sharpest grip tape, but that was grip tape. This is not grip tape. Right? It's a sandpaper. What is this and where did this come from and how did it arrive into it my is. hand? This is sandpaper, aluminum oxide, 36 grit, 9 inch by 11 inch, number 4214, contains 25 sheets of number 3. But what is this actually for? Like sanding things? Yeah. So... Well, today it's for skating. I guess we're going to test it. Well, we have tested roof shingles on a skateboard before. That was Lance and I way back. Leave it in the comments below if you remember Lance, the romance. Shout out to whoever sent us this board. I have no idea who you are, but we're feeling it. So you think we should make some speed stripes in there like that? No. Really? Wait, why? I thought you didn't like the stripes. Come on, of course I do. So just peel this just like normal grip tape. Looks like it. But what's the actual test here? Better think, than grip tape? Yeah, is it comparable to grip tape? Okay, so my question for you, Gabriel Horacio Iglesias, is how much was this? Because if this is cheaper, we might be onto some. I, I can't give you the exact number right now because we bought a lot of stuff that day. Oh my God. <laughs> Glow, <laughs> Glow, peel this up for me. <laughs> Gabe buys this grip tape, right? Sandpaper. Yeah, this doesn't peel. <laughs> So you think everything's like grip tape, Gabe? Are you fried? <laughs> what did you expect us to do? We gotta glue it. That's why grip tape is grip tape. I guess we could glue it. I guess that's all we got. I guess that's the only choice we have here. You done lost I mean, your mind, Gabe Cruz. We got some Gorilla Glue. You want to use that? Yeah. See, now we're onto something. Now we're groundbreaking. Now we're really onto something. That's definitely one of the most fried moments I've seen by you. <laughs> this man 100% thought that you just peeled it up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sitting there for a good 10, 15 minutes going, <laughs> And I said, Gabe, this don't peel. This don't peel up. Before you keep roasting me, this exact grip tape, a pack of 36 of these sheets, is $21.99. That's pretty good. 36 of these. So that means each one of these little 9 by 11 sheets is 61 cents. And we used three of these. That would mean this is $1.83. To grip an entire skateboard. Dollar eighty three so cents, how many, but how much how much is this gorilla glue? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so so how many boards could you grip with those sh sheets? Well, it comes with 36 sheets. Well, I think we gotta well, do the math on wow. is this gonna work at all. Twelve <laughs> boards of grip for twenty-two dollars. We're taking over the industry with this. Yeah, that's not we actually might have come up with something here. You know, um, just as I was thinking, Gabe, we've already done this before. Why are we doing this again? And now he's done proved me wrong. He said, Nope, I don't need to drop in on the vert ramp. Just kidding. If anything, I, my punishment should be dropping in on the vert ramp. Yeah. Well, you said it yourself. It doesn't mean I'm going to listen. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> the question is, how long is this going to take to dry? <laughs> wow. I really am flabbergasted that this did not have a sticky side on the end. I'm I really sorry. I too. I thought for sure. It, I thought for sure Gis is not an oversight by my main man, Gabe Cruz. He dude. would never. Racing stripe or no? At this point now, I guess. It's just the way it's presented at the store. Yeah? It just looks so grip tape-like. You know, you got a skateboard mind, brother. You're blaming the Oshkosh Bagosh Always. Now. Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> if I'm ever driving with my dad and he sees me staring off into the distance, he goes, you just saw a skate spot? I was like, <laughs> yeah. But nowadays, it's not would I skate there. It's old me would have skated there. Ah, no, definitely Come on, Poser Bill. My back hurts. How long does it take to dry? About 24 hours. <laughs> Cure time, 80% in one to two hours. Oh, okay. Full cure in 24 hours. Oh. I mean, 80% is all we need. No, it's paper. It's paper. It's moving around. Come on, Aaron. It is. I know. What are you doing? I don't know. This goes into the rating of is it better than grip tape. So far, absolutely so far, already it's terrible tell. garbage. You get what you pay for, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm you pay a dollar and six cents. I'm not going to be the judge like you're judging right now. I'm not mad at it. You're not? <laughs> at all. <laughs> I can see the comments now. Another failed idea. You want to see a failed idea? Right there. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Should we put another board on there and then let it cure? Yep. Just like my idea. Here. Use this board? Yeah, it's got some weight to it. <laughs> Is that going to work? I mean, if you believe it'll work, it'll work. It's got to be positive and manifest success. Who broke this board? Dennis. The menace? Let's just do a video, can any skateboard in the warehouse survive Dennis Seamoff? And the only one that did was like a $13 Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> the chain link board is the only one that survives. So I guess we need to come back to this in one to two hours for 80% curage. Yeah, we should put it in the office where it's a little warmer. Okay, good idea. All right, Aaron, I'm sorry. 
for, for the mishap. But you know what? I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna grill glue your hand to your face. <laughs> I think I'm even more invested in this now. Now you have to make it work. Okay. All right, let's come back in one or two hours. All right, let's go. Three days later. All right, everyone, we are back. Time has elapsed, glue has dried, and Derek is here today. And Derek, I gotta be honest with you. I bought this sandpaper at the hardware store, and it had a nice little labeled sheet on the back. I was like, yep, this is just like grip tape. I'm just gonna buy it, stick it on board, cut it, skate it, boom. And then Aaron's getting the board ready and he realizes that there's no peel off thing on the back. It's just grip tape. It's just grip tape with paper on the back. That's it. So we had to gorilla glue this to the board and we couldn't film the video that day because we had to gorilla glue it. So it is on here, it is secured. Our experiment will continue, but first we gotta make sure we grip it. Oh. So what we're doing today is really comparing what the best grip tape has to offer. So just regular mob, jess up, whatever you want. Whatever you typically skate, it doesn't really matter, but grip tape is, is grip tape. Some is a little grippier than others, but for all intents and purposes, it's all the same, basically. So this is the grittiest sandpaper that I can find at the hardware store, and this is sandpaper. It's not grip tape, it's not meant to be skated. So what I wanna see is how this compares to a regular sheet of grip tape on a regular board. So what we have Uzi, we have Glow, we have JD here today, and I'm gonna give this board to them, and I'm really gonna have them just experiment do tricks and see how it feels compared to a regular board. Get really down to the science. I'm really glad I'm wearing these gloves because, man, it would hurt. But I gotta be 100% honest, just in terms of gripping so far, real grip tape is the way to go. Imagine you had to Gorilla Glue every single sheet of grip and wait 24 hours for it to dry before you could skate it. That would suck. The next test is the cut test. Mm. Mm. Oh man. I literally have shards of little rock shooting at my eyeballs. I'm gonna get my glasses. Safety first. It's not going terribly though. Oh, oh, okay. Come on, come on. Oh man, it's not going well. If I can give a satisfaction score, cutting regular grip a 10, this is a solid one and a half. This might be one of the most unsatisfying things I've ever had to do involving a skateboard. Ow! How does it still hurt? <laughs> Not my finest work. <laughs> I'm gonna give this grip tape experience a solid one and a half out of 10, but in terms of how it looks, it's a, a zero. This is really bad. This <laughs> might be one of the worst grip tape jobs ever seen. You know what that is? That is a skateboard ready to go. Gosh, this thing looks bad. It looks like it has seen better days. Feels bad. It feels bad. You know, it, it's um, to try to explain what it feels like, grip tape is very coarse or very fine, right? Yeah. It's like a very fine powder that they use to coat it, I think. It feels uniformly grippy. This has much more coarse little granules in the actual sandpaper. It catches and it's really grippy, however, there's those little tan parts in between are all just like adhesive or something like that. So I think in terms of the actual like stickiness of this, I don't think it's as grippy as just a regular sheet of grip, but it is sharper and will probably destroy your shoes more. So that's my prediction. I want to see what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and leave your guesses down there. Thanks. Let's go show the guys. All right, Glow, it's time. It is time, my friend. Here you are. <laughs> Now it makes sense. <laughs> I gave you the warning. I gave you the, the switch the shoes up warning, but it's really not that bad. It feels pretty good. So today, all I want you to do is just go and session, do your regular tricks as you would normally do them if you're just riding around the Braille house. And I really want you to compare this to the real thing. Okay, it got some fresh pop. I was gonna say it might be the worst grip tape, but it could be the best. Oh! I honestly, we had a, a big game of skate last week and I missed a nollie hill and switch hill. I'm never missing Have it you again. seen the comments? Some of them. The comments were so surprised that you missed the nollie hill. Whoa! You really got that trick down. I've been practicing, brother. Oh! Come 
not mad at the grip tape at all, bro. Can you notice any big differences as of right now? No, that it just got a different type of color. The, what about the texture on, on your feet just standing around? Feels good. The Gorilla Glue is working. But it looks like you really are getting good pop, good slide, not losing control. What's up, JD? God, you want to land that? That was solid. Wow. Oh! I gotta land. Here, I got you. I got you. You know why? It was a door slot. Oh! Do you think it could be the grip tape? Probably, honestly. I don't know what's going on, fellas. If you're still watching this, I love you. Right here. Last shot. I'm passing it on. I'm never skating this grip tape ever again. <laughs> oh my! Come on. You got it. Don't think you're overthinking it, bro. You got it. Are you good? Let me tell you something, fella. I was born good. You heard me? You know, after all those tries, I, I had a feeling something chaotic might happen after you I don't you know handed. why I tried that frightening. Let me get one more trick, though. All right. Dude, the grip is really... That was you're a grip actually tape sliding fall. off. Yeah. That was definitely a grip tape fall. I think it's actually playing a part. I'm gonna snap that board. Me and that board have a problem with it later. Oh my god. Hey, what's your rating on a scale from 1 to I 10? I gotta land a switch hill, bro. Compare it to regular grip. <laughs> yeah! Honestly, it was fire, though. The shape of the board, insane. Truck's a little tight. Besides hitting both of my elbows, it's all good, brother. I don't know why I was trying to do switching 80 50 50 <laughs> on a ledge that I waxed the top on. All right, good damn. This is your turn. What board, where'd you get this board? We found in the back, and we have no idea who made it and what shape it is, but it seems to be really good. Watch this. I mean, yeah, 540 flip's a good way to start. Okay. Oh. Hey, we're Give losing chunks. Dude, no way. Look at that. Chunks are flying off. Oh! You got to have a lot of grit to skate this board. Swag, swag like Caillou. Oh! All right, that was grippy. Oh my god. How does the grip tape feel so far? Feels like the shadow version of uh, Mob. A Pokemon Go reference. That's what I was saying when I was setting this up. Grip tape has all uniform, really fine granular pieces, right? But that is more like bigger shards that are sharper, but the gaps in between aren't filled in, so it probably won't grip as well. Just coming off? Yeah. Wow. My foot slid off. Yeah, huh? Ah. All right, last trick, what should I do? Bigger flip. Ooh, okay. A little backside double flip, I like it. 
think I could 360 front side flip with this board. Damn, that'd be sick. Look at this damage report though. All coming off. Oh! Oh! oh it's your turn, turn. What happened? That's special on my knee. Ah. You good? Yeah. What do you ah. want to rate it <laughs> now that you're hurt and ah. it has hurt you? I thought it wouldn't get me like it got glow. It got you though, man. Now I rated a. Ah. 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 Out of 10. <laughs> Okay, that's a rating right there. JD, you are the final skater standing. I'm scared. You should be. Is that rocks? In terms of uh, grip tape ability, gripping the board, worse than grip tape. Durability, definitely ripping. Definitely worse than grip tape. Definitely worse. Now it's up to you. You can do whatever you All like. Right. Feel, feel it out a little bit for me. I do not think it's that grippy. Uh, off of these first attempts, they're not feeling good, bro. What? And doing tricks on the rail and stuff, it doesn't feel like much grippier at all. It feels worse. On here, it feels nice. Oh! And I went like this. I've noticed a recurring pattern that, that keeps happening to you guys. It's too grippy where it's not grippy. Maybe because it's like kind of coated with like the shiny stuff, it's kind of slippery. I don't know. It definitely feels less grippy than when we started. Oh, I wore those down a little bit too. Oh yeah, let's see. Okay, so the wear on shoes is worse as well. Yeah. So there's literally nothing that's good about these so far. Yeah, literally absolutely zero. Oh, great. are just sliding everywhere. I'm not gonna lie, this is not what I expected. I thought it would be comparable to like mob. It looks like it doesn't grab. Yeah, it's got like grip, but not the grabbing one where it's like. Wow. My foot just completely fell off. Yep, I noticed that. Wow. I'm almost laying down the tailbone. Woo! Okay, well. Give me the honest breakdown, JD. Honest breakdown? So, obviously, it doesn't have adhesive, so that you can't put it on your board without like Gorilla Goo. So, that's a down vote. Down vote? That's down a point. So my original by look is looking like an eight out of 10. But now that I hear all this stuff going down seven, that was one point. Not grippy at all, that's going down three points okay. at least. All right, so you're down to a four. Yep. Trying to body Looks, everyone. Yeah, trying to body everyone, that's down like 10. Oh. Looks, minus one, I'm not a big fan of this. Yep. And just feel of it, minus one. So I think we're probably at like a negative six or something. Yeah, you're at like a negative six or something. seven, I think. So right. if you ever go to Yoko Hardware store, never pick this up for your skateboard. This stuff is not it. I mean, unless but you're in the fun. middle of nowhere. Yeah, if you got Can't nothing. get grip tape shipped to you, no skate shops. If you have to, then, and you're in a pinch, I, it's okay. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Overall, it was a fun little test trying it out, but it's not good. I had high hopes. Yeah, we have to have some grit to skate this thing. Wow, that's crazy. See you in the next video.